Now this is only a tiny little part off Spain next to Barcelona here. See, you already see how many Templars there are. They were all over Europe, they're all over the world. They rule the world. Here's Mallorca, the island. Already four like here. They rule the entire world, eh? And they brought their treasure to safe Switzerland. And it started in France. And I'm not gonna visit I'm not gonna show you them all. Here, Saragossa. There's the word Sar for the king, eh? I'm not going to show them all. Hitchhiking is a disaster in Spain. They give you problems when you go into the bus. They give you problems when you go into a supermarket. It's, um, it's a fascist country, it is. So this is the area where, where I'm at yet, now, uh, Alicante. And this is the area where I went to. It's not very far, so to the, uh, to the left side of the, of the square. They call it the Badlands, because uh, Clint Eastwood, he made that video about there. It looks very much like Arizona, so, but I don't think it's the only reason they call it the Badlands, because he went filming exactly uh, next to the Templar stuff here, and the Templars are really, they're all over. And this is one I wanted to show you. That they are all over. They even went up to the Ukraine, probably in in, in Africa, uh, everywhere. I mean, they're, they're not like you know, so a, a rare species, you know, fighting the, the horrible king and all that. No, they were quite common, very common. They were everywhere. Not rare at all. So here I'm next to Murcia in Spain. It's a Templars stronghold here. It's called the Basilica de Vera Cruz. Cruz, it means the cross, like the true cross. Well, what is the true cross? I mean, is there a difference between the two, the true crosses? Well, the only true cross for them is the Templars cross and not the normal cross. That's why they call it Vera Cruz. So, here in Spain. How's LA? How has it changed from LA, eh? <laughs> it's a nice change over here. <laughs> over here near Veracruz. The castle of Veracruz. Ah, Spanish countryside. So this is next to Murcia and Granada Templars So the name of the town is Carabaca de la Cruz Carabaca, it means the face of the cow of the cross A weird name, eh? Probably related to Uppies So that's the Templars castle uh, They call it a basilica, like it's like a cathedral Right, uh, it looks, the whole thing looks like a castle, yeah. Well, that's an interesting coat of arms. Look at the, the horse, the crescent moon, the Arabian horse. Bando. Yeah. Oh no. Sorry, no, it's not coming. Now here it says again. So the town they called Caravaca de la Cruz. And here Veracruz de Caravaca. So it's it's the other way around. Yeah. The true cross or the monastery or the, the, the church they call it like this. And here it says Orden del Temple. The order of the temple. Yeah, there's the order of the temple on top of it. That's the true cross. The Christian cross is not the true cross. It says in English, the city of the cross. And look at this here. It's again, 13th century, always a 13th century. Now they came after the Romans, there's nothing before. Eh? And Caravaca has become one of the five holy cities in the world for Christianity, they forgot to say. 
owning this privilege together with Rome, Jerusalem, Santiago de Compostela, and whatever. And Compostela, that's why they have this uh, pilgrimage road called uh, Saint Jacques. They, um, it's getting very popular. Hundreds of thousands of people walking it from the north of Europe all the way to Santiago. It's supposed to be quite fun and meeting a lot of people and all that. So it's one of the five holy cities in the world. Imagine. Only because of the Templars and the, the pyramid representing Templars cross. and uh, But they say the wood, a, a piece of the wood that came from the real cross of, of, of Christ. Well, who knows. So here you can see the coat of arms with that Templar's cross and the other cross. In blue, red and white. Red is the, the cow is red. I've never seen a red cow like this actually. Have you? No. Okay, so then what does it mean? What do, why do they do this? And there's a crown. It's always the aristocracy, that's Pharaoh. And the red is the old world order. And it stands for Apis, Apis, the bull. Just like the advanced personal information system. If you want to go into the US, I made a film about it. To search it. And this cow is standing in the new world order for the white. And that cross is in the blue for the war. War against us, against humanity. Right? And they're lying with their crosses. It's the Vera Cruz, the true cross of the Templars. So here, this is a Templars in, uh, I forgot the name, Karabaka, face of the cow. So there it is, Caravaca de la. So it means the uh, the face of the cow of the cross. Well, you figure that out. Huh? Uh, lots of fantasies in the Middle Ages. Well, they also knew things we don't know anymore. So the castle actually was built by the uh, Saracens, the Muslims, and apparently only the basilica, the church, was built by the Knights Templars. Let's have a look then. So there's the Templar Basilica, which is like uh, just a little bit smaller than a cathedral. So apparently this was built by the Knights Templars, but um, there's not much more to see. There's more to see in France anyway. So that must be the true cross, Vera Cruz. The other ones are not true. No. You can see the cross of this place again, in red, as a Templar. So it is a Templar's cross on top of a normal cross. Now I get it. There it is again. We can see from from a distance. So this is the true cross for them. This is the true cross. And this is the cross of like Jesus. As they were Satanists and Sodomists, they say this is uh, 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 Karabaka, which is also a blasphemy, to, you know, to something religious or Jesus or God. The face of a cow. Well, who's the cow? Maria? Oh, what? Who's the cow? Eh? And Vera Cruz. It even has a sunny glyph on it. So it's completely pharaonic. So they say, oh, this is the true cross. The other one isn't. And especially this part is the true cross. The Templar's cross. Karabaka, the face of a bloody cow. Eh? The women, as the Freemasons who come out of the Templars, they, you know, it's all fraternity. They say, a bird, no, a, a chicken is not a bird and a woman is not a human. So it's in the Karabaka. Now I understand it. So uh, look, there she is, the Karabaka. Look at that. There she is. Kawas, eh? Spanish Kawas. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the world domination. Look, there's a concept of four. There are four like pyramids on it. It's not obelisk, it's a pyramid. 
And there are three balls, the concept of three. So on top here, it says the square and compass. You know, behind the, you know, even there, it's uh, another, you know, a pyramid. And, you know, through the three, the, the square and compass, it represents the pyramid. Look, it's, it's even here again. Yeah. Or is that the titty of the, uh, the face of the cow? Who knows? So there it is again. The true cross for the Templars. This is their true cross. Why? Because it comes out of a pyramid. It represents a pyramid. That's why they call it the true cross. You know, it's like a temple, you know, with the Yachin and Boaz. It's, this is like bloody Egypt, you know, coming in here. Bloody Egypt, it is, I tell you. It has everything, eh? Ah. Okay, there you go. It's probably a lot more to say. Spanish practicing for the Swiss UEFA Sepp Blatter World Cup. Look at that. We're gonna win, win the World Cup again. There it is. Well, this part, this door is from 1700 or something. Apparently. So there's the whole castle. Yeah. So I told you. The Templars are Satanists, the French king was right. That's too windy, probably. Now what's a pyramid doing in Europe, eh? And how did they know it was a ball? Excuse me, flat earthers. Uh, I'm, I'm none of you, none of anything, you know. I don't mind flat or round. So is that a church? What is it? A temple? Eh? Templars? Now look, and here, there's the shell. Like the pharaonic petrol company shell. Yeah, because it looks like the, the sun, the sun worshippers. And maybe there are other reasons as well. And uh, it belongs to the queen, the royalty. Probably those are the richest... Um, Pharaonic family in the world of the Netherlands, the shell of the Netherlands. Look at that. I mean, who, whom are they worshipping here? So, looking at the Vera Cruz, the true cross here, yeah, the French king, he said, the Templars, they are Satanists and Sodomists. And he was right, and they killed them in the end. And now we've got a Satanist system. They're kidnapping our children, they're doing satanic rituals in castles. I showed you a couple, Dutroux, Fournier, uh, one more after the other, and it's all from the Knights Templars. And the king was right. The Templars are Satanists and worship, and uh, sodomists. Uh, it's windy again. I'll do it again. I, I'm not sure if you could hear me. It's windy all the time, and um, you know. So the Templars were sodomists and Satanists. The French king, he was absolutely right. Here's another proof of it. I mean, for all you who believe in Christ or in the cross or uh, whatever, here's another proof that they, they're joking about it. And the cross is still there. It's being bought by tourists and uh, it's still here. The French king was absolutely right, but he was one of them. It's the same bloodline, well, not one of the Templars, but one of the Pharaonic bloodline. But it got worse because it, it became a homo system, a brotherhood. It's the hood, the brotherhood of the Knights Templars. Vera Cruz, in, it should be in red, as here in the church. This is the true cross. The rest it means the Christian cross is not the true cross. They call Jesus, they call him Adonai. The Freemasons and the Templars, they spit on him. The French king was right, and this is what he said. They spit on Jesus, they masturbated in front of the cross. They completely hated it because the cross, it's, you know, 
the, the, the Vatican is also related to the, uh, to the king. And, uh, well, it's not the Vatican as it is now, the old Vatican as it used to be. It's all perverted now, as we know. And Protestantism, this is also Protestantism, eh? It's Masonic to attack the king. So the Holy and True Cross of Caravaca. Well, they probably chose not to translate Caravaca for the obvious reasons. Here you can see it's always the 13th century. There's nothing before because they were not here. And it's the order of the temple that brought that relic from Jerusalem guarded in this city. And they told us what it is. And if the, the Templars tell us it's, it's what they say it is, a, a part of the, the cross of um, Christ, then we all know it's a lie, because they're a bunch of liars. Yeah. This is an interesting text, so you can read it yourself. You know, it says here, the, uh, the, the true cross, a very meaningful name, related to the Templar order. And, um, you know, uh, and, and they still use it in the, uh, in the Eastern um, you know, Orthodox Church, I think, this cross here. Yeah which is related, it's from the Knights Templars, eh? Because there's a Templars cross on top of it. And it's always the 13th century and all that. So you just punch pause. Here it says, this cross, it came on, the, on the May the 3rd, th third, uh, 1232, to 60 years before they found it, Switzerland. Yeah. Well, you go and kiss that cross, eh? That will give you a happy life, probably, eh? Most of all, don't do anything yourself. Yeah. The powers are going to help you, so don't do anything, you sheep. So the Templars, the military order of the temple, they guarded the cross and uh, yeah, the Karabaka Templar community. That was full of them. Before going to Switzerland, I found themselves some other... Cow faces, sisters of Isis, eh? Swiss, eh? Cow faces, can you imagine? Eh? And, um, yeah, it's all this, Templars, eh? Got it? So here's in the red colours, you see here. Yeah, the Templars cross. Probably have to pay to get in here. Or not. Tickets, yeah. I'll just film it quickly and I get out. Probably they're gonna run after me. Awesome. Well, this is what I call a door. I way a door with a little door in it. Oh, a big square compass in a Spanish church. Looks different there. I look the big octagon. On top here, or probably following your head, you know. Right. They're still shooting outside, killing the Muslims. The Moors, they call it Los Moros. Yeah. I was once in a village where they, in Spain, where they celebrated that for two weeks. All big wooden barrels in the streets with sangria. That was nice, but that's uh, 30 years ago. I don't think that they still do that anymore. So here it says, the Tower of the Templars. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is a Templar's, a little Templar's tower here. And uh, well, let's have a look. So here it says, yeah, yeah. speak Spanish, it says here, Templarios, built by the Templars. Torre, it means a tower. Apparently. Well, let's have a look. There it says again, it's part of the cross or the wood 
with which they made the, the Christ cross. Well, it's not really clear what they're talking about here. Yeah? You can see that how the south of Spain was ruled by the Muslims. al Mohat Sayyid Abu Zid. And um, so that's why the Spanish are quite dark now. Because they call them the Sayyid. And um, because they're a mixture with the Muslims. Um, with the Arabs, because they, they raped the, uh, the locals. And before, like in, uh, in the Iberic uh, Peninsula, they were like more Celtic people. And here, Ibn, Ibn Hud. Now the same thing is happening all over Europe now. Hey, you can you really say it's a Templar's cross here on top. The only true cross. The satanic cross it is. And they put it on top higher than the Christian cross. That's why they call the whole town here Veracruz. Cara, Carabaca. That says. A lot of weird stuff here. On the red, white and blue. It's all here. And uh, it's on an octagon pedestal. Yeah. They're Satanists. So that's very important I saw this. A bunch of Satanists, all right, and they rule the whole world. I mean, I mean, what arrogance, you know, to say that our cross, the Templar's cross, is the only true cross. What arrogance. Uh, and it is a Pharaonic cross. So Pharaoh stands above Jesus. That's what it means. And don't you think anybody of these people here who live here, that they know it, right? So there it says, Karabaka, face of the cow. Duh. La. There it says, De La Cruz, of the cross. The face of the cow of the cross. They're just making a joke of like uh, Christianity. What do you want? Yeah, come on. Spanish homo. Yeah, yeah. Right here in the house of the Russians, you know, here it is that cross again, with a G. We all know what it means when they put a G there, eh? Freemasons, Templars, Pharaoh. So it is like the, you know, that Templar's cross on top. Well, it's a bit differently here. And it's probably, maybe it's even the same side. The, the, uh, the face of the cow of the true cross. What a coincidence. And it is sort of a, you know, Russians have even been thinking about it, that, they, that this is a, a, like a Freemason lodge or something. There's something special about it. I mean, look at it, you know, the staircase and all that in a flat. I've never seen that in a, an apartment building, you know. Never seen that before. It's like a house in one of those towers. Like Torre Templario, like this one, Torre Templario, Tower of the Templars. Give me the camera. No, no. Oh, you got it? Fine. Only your nose is in the way. <laughs> You're gonna have aristocratic nose, huh? <laughs> so it says the Badlands, you know, because of Clint Eastwood. Tierra de Castillos, the, uh, the land of the castles. Uh, this might be the name of the uh, Castillo de los Velez, uh, Castillo de Alcala. So, I, and, and there it is. That's the one I filmed for you, um, quickly. There, in the Badlands, remember, next to the um, Arabic uh, castle. Yeah, look, another Spanish castle. I don't know who did it. Oh, well, my friend is in a hurry, so I can't investigate. So this is where they did the film, the Clint Eastwood film, The Bad and the Ugly or whatever, with uh, the music of Ennio Morricone. Because it looks like Arizona and just imported a couple of Indians and made the, the video, eh? the film.
Hmm. You can read how the Muslims ruled here under the Muslim domain for many hundreds of years. So one can understand why the Catalonians, you know, uh, were less under the Muslim domain than in the south of uh, Spain, um, how they want to seek independence from Spain. Well, it's not really the same people. And even the Jesuits were there. Uh, Compania de Jesus. So look, here they are. This is Saladin, probably. Here's the Templar. They're all friends, you know. So our masters, the aristocracy, they put them all together. Yeah, look at this one. Why there's the seal of Solomon in the with the crescent moon, eh? Interesting. Abu Qatar. I know what that means. No? Yeah. yeah. Another crescent moon. So here you get to the Templars. Uh, yeah. Templars. They're all together because they're all friends. You see that symbol again of the Templars cross there? On top of a Christian cross. Hospitallers, Templars. Teutonic Knights, Octagon, and Masters. Why do they honor the Muslims here? No? Here again, why do they honor a camel? Because it's all the same bunch. Yo, can you silence for a moment? Oh, look at that, Swiss cross. Look at that. Hey, Swissy. Eh? There you go. The red cross of the Swissies. Oh, they got all that Muslim stuff on their backs, eh? I don't know, are they Spanish or...? So you know what it means, Vera Cruz, the real cross, Templar's cross on top of the Christian cross. Here you see the, the concept of four here, look at that. The concept of four on top of that thing there. So I can't do it the way I want to do. I'm, I don't have a house. Um, I'm going to stop soon anyway, maybe after this video because um, I can't do it anymore. I can't make the videos as I want to make them. Um, I, 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 I don't get any help nowhere and um, I'm going to stop. YouTube is over. There's no more. They censor all the films. So, well, that was it, folks. Probably the end. So here, go to this website and you see Muslims in membership with the Templar Order. There you go. And um, so I'm, I'm just filming the screen here because my, my, my video editor, I can't really make it working. I don't have the, I can't concentrate anymore. I'm from one forest to the other, hitchhiking. Look here. It was the Treaty of Acres. And um, this is the official seal of the, the Knights of the Order of Salahaddin, Saladin. And Saladin, he was one of them. He was a Templar, which even the, uh, the, the, the Sufis say it, uh, Muslims, in tem it's, a, it's a historical fact. It's, it's, it's all in here in their own website. They don't even hide it anymore as they used to. So this is also the reason why all the Muslims, they came and they called them guest workers, but they were never meant to be the, our guests. They were meant to stay because uh, there is this alliance between Salahaddin and the Templars. He is one of the Templars. Why? Because he wanted the, uh, the, new, the, the horizontal rule of the aristocracy as he was a Sultan or a Caliph. Um, so you can read the whole thing here, and here are the historical accounts of it. In, he became a Templar in, 12, in 1190, Saladin, here it says, 1190. 
you receive the, you know, you read it yourself, yeah. And um, they even found the uh, the old, um, uh, so here you can see Templar. That, that's why they were here in Spain. They, they were both together on a pedestal. You saw that, didn't you? Hey? So the Knights of the Order of Saladin. And also the name uh, in Arabic, uh, it's uh, Wazir. It means the wizard, eh? the Druids, right? I told you already. They are all. They, they came with the, the queen, the princess, the queen of Skoda. It's all pharaonic. That's why we have the Shriners. You know, the, the, even John Wayne, he was one of them, eh? With with a uh, so um, uh, Muslim uh, Freemasons in America. It's all. They're all lying to us. You know, it's all aristocracy. They're lying to both the Arabs and both to the Europeans. Make us fight each other, and they take all the wealth. You know, and, and, and rape our women and all that. Um, yeah, so they, they, they found even Hashashin scripts in the Temple of Solomon, the Templars did. And uh, that's, that's a, a, so, so they got a lot of secret, uh, you know, uh, satanic writings. And that, that's why they let the uh, Salah Hadin, he let all the, uh, all the Templars and all the the crusaders uh, at the fall of jerusalem he let them go freely out of jerusalem with all their belongings which was the templar's treasure they went to switzerland i've been telling it to you um, you know and it's all here I, I could do this film so much better but i i can't do it anymore excuse me i'm I, I, it's it, i'm done it's 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 all over now i eh? No help, YouTube's finished, so th this is the last. I'm just filming the screen, just the, the screen. I'm just, you know, improvising. You can't, I can't do a film like this. Um, yeah, and there was the Treaty of Acres in 1229. Uh, so if you see nationalists, you know, with a Templist flag, or you're like Britain first, oh, come on, you know, they're Freemasons anyway. Yeah. So well, you read it yourself, or fi find yourself the um, the link, you just punch it in, yeah, it's a Templar. They're all, that's why they're still friends, you know, the, the king of Saudi Arabia with the queen of, of Britain. We the people, we're all brothers and sisters, no matter your religion, your, your race or your nationality, it doesn't matter. This is the enemy within, they're all aristocrats, people, they're all pharaohs. Yeah, look at this Pharaoh, Salah Hadin. My dear Muslims, please listen to this and understand that he's the enemy of you. He's your enemy. You know, they're all grouping together with the Crusaders against you and against the white people. And they still are. Yeah, look at them. Bloody Pharaoh he is. So we all, we all group together. Even the women were in the Templars, so the, the, you know. So, everything is a lie. Special arrangement for Muslims in the Templar order. Hey, eh? look at that. There's another Muslim coat of arms for the Templars. And that's why the Nazis also, they had two, two Muslim divisions. Hanjar and then the other one. Because Hitler, he was a Freemason and a Templar and a Pharaoh, an aristocrat. Don't you see it? Stop believing their lies, you know? So I'm not going to, yeah, well. So, you just punch pause and read it all. Everything is a lie. Just remember the, um, the statues I filmed and all the, you know, Done by the Masons. That's why they all put them together. All the, you know, on, on the ground, all their coats of arms. It's all one bloody, pharaonic, aristocratic thing against us, the people. And that's why now we have Eurabia. Europe is gone. We're gone. It's Eurabia because of these dudes here. The Knights of the Order of Salah Hadid, all Templars, pharaohs. Let me see them, Shriners, you traitors, and don't you touch that child, you pedophiles. See? Yeah, even John Wayne was one of those, look. 
The Hanjar, just like the SS division, doing a jihad and killing 400,000 Europeans. Crescent moon. But then again, it's not the people. It's not the Arabia Arabic people. It's them, these pharaohs here. So Hollywood is not Jewish, eh? Look at that. Why do you have Arab stuff here? It's not Jewish. Yeah, John Wayne and his fez. The Shriners. That's why. Because of the Templars making an alliance with the... Well, they always had the old pharaohs. With Salah ad uh, We're all being betrayed. Both the Arabs, both the, the Europeans. We're all betrayed from, from the beginning. So they can take over power and, and rape our women and, and our children. And the dogs maybe too. So here you see the Arabic castle here. Look at that. The Arabs were all over and they're back now. But that's the Caliph, it's the aristocracy. I think these are Arabic letters, I can't really see that. But it looks very Arabic. The Saracens and the uh, Los Moros. We're going to siege the castle. This is something like they celebrating the uh, um, the battle over the Muslims who invaded Spain. But they're all back now. See the pyramids. Like it's a sun hieroglyph all over. All sun hieroglyph. Obelisks. So this is what they, this is the, um, the Templist. Well, it, it looks like a T. Look at that. It looks like a T. I never saw a wine like this. It's a Templist T. And if you finish it, you get the face of a cow. I'm already, it's already happened. Look at that, look at that. It's the ah, face of a ooh, cow. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> How do you like Spain, LA? Uh, it's really good, man. It's good to spend time with you, uh, Sean. It's, it's been good. It's been, a, it's been a, a great trip, man. It's been a great salute. Yeah, good to meet you. So, and here it says it's, an, it's, a, it's a tradition. It looks like a tea. And it's a wine from the... 13th century, at the time of the Templars, and it has miraculous properties. I think I already s start feeling the miraculous properties. You too, eh? Yeah, oh yeah. It, well, you it, you it, have to uh, do the can, driving, eh? Can you feel the wings? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, te so te Do I see the ass of a horse here? Or am I taking too much of the miraculous stuff here? What's going on here? Eh? 